All right, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a really just quick and dirty uh, <laughs> how-to for Google Data Studios. I am making this video because I was trying to find something, anything, a blog, a post, a YouTube video, anything on how to do this for months and Data Studios, I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but Data Studios is just not very user friendly and it's not very straightforward. So I was trying to figure out how to get a bar graph to show our clients just organic data and not the data from all channels. We got this, um, this template from somebody else and we've been using it for our clients for monthly reports and we just kind of felt like it wasn't showing what we wanted it to we really wanted them to be able to just we work on organic traffic so um when the first and the biggest like most focal point of their report is talking about all the traffic to their site, um, we just don't feel like it gives an accurate picture of what our results are and the work that we're doing. So with that said, um, let's get into it and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So here you can see one of the SEO reports for one of our clients. Uh, I took their name out just for their privacy, but they are a Christmas light hanging company, so you'll see that obviously their uh, late fall and winter, early winter season is gets a lot more traffic than the summer months uh, to be expected. And we just started back up with them again, so um, you'll see here that obviously we're we're starting to ramp up for that fall and winter season. Uh, but this right now is showing all total traffic sessions. And like I mentioned, for the longest time, we really just want to show this organic traffic trend um, so that they can, they can really see what we're doing specifically. And so I will go into, I'm in the view mode here right now. Um, I'll go into the edit mode and show you guys how to make this say organic. I have never figured out why it just shows these random numbers. When I go to edit this table, I don't know if it's the template we're using, but that is not the point of this video. So when I click on this bar chart over here, it gives me a bunch of different options on how to break this down. And first thing you're wanting to do is go to breakdown dimensions and type in default channel grouping. So you're gonna to wanna to select that and it'll give you a breakdown much like the one that's down here for us. Obviously your template might be different, but hopefully, um, hopefully this is still relevant to you. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is scroll down here and go to Google Analytics segment Click on add segment and under system segments, select organic traffic. And the way we know that this worked is we come back over here into the view. All right, and we are going to I guess we can do the full year over year view again so we'll go from august 1st to august 31st hit apply and there it is um i'm gonna obviously change that to say organic traffic but you see here 748 748 and uh <laughs> 
It seems so simple when I lay it out this way, but I'm telling you, we were trying to figure this out forever. So I hope that this helps somebody. Um, Data Studios, man, you guys gotta, (laughs) gotta make this a little easier for the average person. Thanks for watching, guys.